Hello everybody, how's it going? Chris here. And who are you? Say hello. Hello. <laughs> say, this is Logan. No. No, okay, you won't say it. You know your name, don't you? What's your name? <laughs> okay, he's being shy. He's being weird. He knows his name. No, Anyways, okay. I it's the tools. I know. Okay, so as you guys can see there, we got some parts uh, right there. Got some tools, got some hair dryers. That's, yeah, I know, we got the tools. We have to fix it. And here's my PlayStation. <laughs> my uh, 40 gig old fat monster, which I don't really like. Uh, but some of you guys, if you're gamers, you might know why I have this apart. Um, and these two little guys right here would be the reason. CPU and uh, GPU. Um, I'm not a techno kind of uh, person, but I'll tell you a little story. Uh, what's happened here? Anyways, I got the this yellow light of death, which is an overheating problem. Um, I've learned a few things by uh, watching some YouTube videos. And um, uh, this unit, when I had purchased it, I did get a extended warranty. It's gone way past that now. Um, so there's no possible way of me um, getting a fix free of charge. But uh, watching some YouTube videos and talking a little bit to a fella at a uh, source um, electronic store, we're going to try this $5 um, fix. And uh, the basic idea of the fix is to get some new um, thermal paste. Came in this little, like, ounce little tube here, or a half a gram, um, just enough to spread across these two, like I say, the CPU and GPU. Um, again, when I'm uh, mumble jumbo talking here about this uh, tech stuff, I hope none of the trolls uh, make a bunch of nasty comments on my channel because, uh, like I say, I'm not much of a tech guy. Um, I pretty much found all my information about this on YouTube, so if I make any mistakes, um, yeah, don't don't be screaming at me, nerds. <laughs> okay, so this is my predicament. A new PlayStation would cost me about 250 bucks. I'd prefer not to do that right now, of course, because I got him to pay for. <laughs> so, uh, and this is our only form of entertainment, basically, uh, is the internet. Of course, if you're watching this, you know that we have the internet. But we don't have television either. We have the PlayStation, we have Blu-ray, we have the internet. Um, so this thing was running for many, many, many hours. It was very, very dirty. Um, you can probably see down here, like, look, look how dirty that was. Um, I even might flip over this part. These are the thermal coil coilers there, or whatever. Um, underneath is the fan, so I might actually. Um, take that apart too and clean that out um, and pretty dusty along there so anyways I had a, uh, done one fix and uh, by an, uh, another youtuber um, saying just to blow some hot air into the back of the vents um, on this side which in turn would actually you know the hot air would come up here heat up the CPU um, and he reheat the whatever remaining uh, the thermal coating that would be on there and that trick did work for oh I don't know a couple of minutes anyways and then I thought it was good um, but I had another problem is that I had a disc stuck in the drive here and uh, which was actually a Big Bang Theory rental movie <laughs> so uh, that was my big thing I had to get that out so I did take it apart got the disc out try to reconnect it I did get the green light, um, but then the Blu-ray drive was uh, in the lock position, thinking it still had a disc inside of it. Um, so I left it for the night, again thinking, hey, at least I got it going again, really cool, I got the green light. And uh, next day I tried it and tried to fiddle again with the, the Blu-ray drive, and I ended up getting uh, the yellow light of death again. So um, I actually took the time to watch some other videos, of course, and... Um, attempt the not so easy solution I guess of sorts um, but probably the more proper one is to completely take your thing your PlayStation apart get the coating which only cost me five bucks um, apply it and uh, see what happens here so this is my test we'll see whether it uh, succeeds or fails
So I'll talk to okay, you guys everybody back again. Uh, so I cut everything together, um, except uh, I'm not going to screw the top down. Uh, and it's right there just in case I uh, have to reopen it again for some reason. Um, and actually one of the reasons would be I have two screws from the interior left over. So uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I've taken this thing apart about three or four times now and apparently I missed a couple of screws. Um, so anyways, here's the test. Oh goodness. I kind of hope this works so I don't have to buy another PlayStation. Um, so here's to uh, good luck to see if this works. I'll take a good chug. And here's a hard drive. I'll put that back in. There we go. I'll put the screw in after. Uh, I might as well try to see if it works with the controller. Uh, put the main switch on the back. So we have our main power. Okay, peeps, here's the uh, here's the test to see whether this works.